In this video, we will see how to generate the bridge model using the wizard tool present in Myra Civil. I guess some of the engineer find it a bit difficult to use wizard option. So here we are showing with an example that how easy and efficient it is to use the wizard option to create the bridge model. So here in the structure tab, we are having various wizards which the engineer can choose according to the requirement. Like as you can see, we are having wizards for different options. If I talk about suspension bridge, cable state, FCM bridge, then grillage model, RC frame box, steel composite PSC. So based upon the requirement, an engineer can choose any wizard and then he can proceed. For this example point of view, we will be taking a steel composite bridge wizard. So I'll just click on this option and we get this wizard file. So basically, wizard is nothing but a kind of a template where we need to define the relevant information in these four tabs, which are layout, section, load and construction stage. And the beauty of this wizard file is that we can always save this wizard file and reopen it for the future purposes. So I'll quickly open a wizard file, which I've saved like this. And all the details are inputted automatically, which I've saved previously. So now we will go through each definition one by one that how do we provide these definitions. So starting from the layout tab, the very first thing that we need to select is the girder type. So based upon the section which we are having, whether it is a steel eye, steel box or steel tub, we can select the girder type. After that, we need to select the modeling type. So as we know that Midas is a finite element software, so it, so it offers the user to select the type of element with which they want to pursue the modeling. So here you can select whether you want your elements as all frame, all plate or deck as plate or girder as frame. Based upon the requirement, you can select the element type. So I'm choosing all frame. Then we give the span information. So suppose I'm having four span at an end and each span is of 25 meters. So I'm giving four at the rate 25 meter. Then we give the deck width. So in this case, I'm having it as of 12 meter. So I've given that. Then in case we are having skew as well, so we can simulate that also. We just need to select the skew angle and provide it accordingly. The model will be created. In case you are having multiple skew as well, then again, you can just select on this advanced option and then you can give the multiple skew. So the wizard is not just limited to a single kind of skew. You can provide it according to your requirement. Then for the radius as well, like in this case, we are simulating radius of a convex nature and the radius is of 70 meter. Again, in case you are having multi curve, so you can select this option and from here you can give the multi curve details. The next feature we are having is like whether we need to model the substructure or only we are interested with the superstructure. So here in the guide, you can see that whether you want your pier and the pier cap to be modeled as well or not, or you just want your structure to be modeled till the part of bearing. So based upon that, you can select whether the boundary is bearing type or with substructure. So in this case, we'll be opting for with substructure modeling, hence I've chosen that. Then we select the elastic link stiffness. So basically elastic link will simulate the bearings. So you can provide the stiffness over here that will represent your bearing behavior. And this elastic link length will also simulate the bearing length. Then here we give the substructure detail. So I've selected the section as pier cap. I've previously defined the material and section. And from here we can select the material and section as per the requirement. Now length is this much. So I'm giving it as 12 meter and column. Then for section column, we are having this pier section that I've selected. I give the height as nine meter. In case we are having multiple columns, then we can provide the spacing over here. And here we select the material for the substructure. Next, we go under the section, section tab. So here in the section tab, we give the deck thickness and give the material. So for deck, girder and bracing, we select the material. And from here we give the girder offset. So basically we provide the layout of our girders like in transverse direction, what are the placement of the girders. So from the center line of the bridge, we'll provide the offset. Now the only difference in the offset is like the, as per the sign convention on the left side, we are having negative offset and on the right side, we are having positive values. So suppose I'm having five girders. So my central girder will be present at the zeroth distance from the center of the bridge and on the left, two part, we will be having two girders at a distance of minus 2.5 and minus 5. And on the right side, as per the sign convention, we provide these distances as positive. Then we can give the bracing details from here, like based upon the bracing, whether you are having top or bottom cord and the bracing type, whether, whether it is X, V or inverted brace, you can select and you can add, and then you can provide the bracing 
distance as well. Here we give the girder information. So as we know that the section depth can vary or the section type can vary along the span. So you have the option to create the number of division according to your reference. And then you can provide different section along the span. So like you are having different section at some distances, then you can provide those distances over here and then you can provide with different section. Next is the loading. So here we provide the loading. Basically, whatever crash barrier superimposed loads we are having, we provide those details. So B1 and B5 are the crash barrier. B3 is the median. B2 and B4 are the width of the carriage wheel. So suppose we are having footpath. So I'm choosing B2 as 1.5, B4 as 9 meter, B1 and B5 as 0.5 and B3 as 0.5. Here we select the weight that will be considered. So I'm choosing self-weight, wet concrete. We give the density. And for the barrier and median, we provide the UDL load intensity. And here we give the varying surface intensity. So this was about the loading part. And this last is the construction stage. So as you can see, we have simulating the construction stages over here. So under the stage one, my substructure is activated. Then in next stage, our girder part will be activated. That is girder part one and bracing is activated. Then stage three is divided into two parts. Like in stage three one, wet concrete load will be activated and in stage 3 2 the actual deck will be activated since this is simulating the casting of deck hence we are only activating load first and the elements are activated at the later stage then superimposed loads are applied and this is a long term day construction stage of 10,000 duration that will consider the long term effects so after giving this details we can just simply click on ok and our model is created something like this so you can see how easy it was to create a something complex bridge with the curvature of four span with the help of wizard we have created in a matter of few minutes so that is the beauty of wizard i hope you had fun time learning this feature and you'll have used this wizard for your purposes as well thank you